Usher, call him up. Usher, tell him what you want. Call him up. Usher, call him up. Usher, tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you to the broadcast. What the world needs is Jesus. Yeah. He loves you. He wants you to know that he loves you. Yeah, man. And uh, the Lord is, uh, he's reaching out to people. He wants you to know if you're out there and you're undone without him, he, he wants you to be born again. Yeah. It's his heart's desire for you to go to heaven. Why? Because Jesus come and died on the cross. You can go be with him, see? I've been studying and reading a little bit. And just, uh, I was sitting over here just a minute ago before we got up to do the broadcast, and Lord, uh, give me this uh, Psalm 95 we're going to start out in and read all of it, basically. we got other scriptures. We're going to do a good bit of reading, I think, right here. But I want you to know something. Jesus loves you. Yeah. He's calling America and the world to repentance. Yeah. Uh, we know that America is going in the wrong direction. We know the world's going in the wrong direction. And if you know you're going in the wrong direction, you know what you need to do? You need to turn around. That's right. You, make a, you need to make a U-turn, yes, see? Sir. That's what we need to do. If I'm on a road and I'm going to, say, from, uh, to, from Cedar Bluff to Center, and I get over to Cedar Bluff and I turn left and I'm going towards Rome and I know I need to go to Center, somewhere up there I might turn around and make a U-turn and go back the other way because I'm That's going right. in the wrong direction. But I can't get to Center from uh, going that way, see? Listen to me, us in America, we're heading in the wrong direction and we're going downhill and it's going in a hurry. Yeah. But I want to say something to you, listen, God's still on the throne. Yes, he is. Jesus prayed God, he's still saving, he's still healing, he's still delivering, he's still touching people. Yeah. He's still saying, let whosoever will come unto me, pray to God, and he'll not turn you away. Amen. But you've got to turn around from your ways you're heading and turn to Jesus. Give him a try, praise God. I guarantee you, if you ever give him a try and you get a taste of it, You'll say, boy, I've been missing out for a long time on this ordeal. He loves you, and he wants you to know that he loves you. Now, I'm going to read Psalm 95 right here, and I want you to listen to these scriptures. It says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Thank God, amen. Listen, I preached a message a while back the Holy Ghost did about uh, the tried cornerstone, praise God, which talking about Jesus. He is that cornerstone that we yes, need to be is. building up off of. I like yeah. what he told old Peter. He said, upon this church, I'll build my, uh, upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Thank right. God, amen, listen to it. The gates of hell will never prevail against Jesus. That's right. He went, he's the one that went off down into hell, stripped Satan to death, hell, and the grave, praise right. God, and the keys of it. So listen to me. If I'm going to stand with somebody, I want to stand with the one, praise God, that's a winner. Yeah. And he is the winner. The devil is a loser, see? He is the father of the losers, too. I'm telling you, he is a loser, and he's a big loser. Yep. And he's done lost the battle. But I'm telling you, the victory, praise God, is in Jesus. And your victory is not of this world. It's in Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. What you're looking for is not in this world. It's, of, it's Jesus. That's right. You're looking up high and low and looking around and looking low and looking in everything, but you're looking in the wrong places. 
Jesus said, and turn to me, praise God, and that void you need and feel in your heart. He said, I'll feel it for you. But you ain't going to feel it with nothing of this world, I can right. tell you that right now. Listen to what it says in verse 2. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. I want to lift my hands up to the Lord today and say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you for saving me, yeah. touching me, doing the work you've done in my life. Lord, because without you, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Right. Praise God. Thank you for holding the day, Lord, and holding Praise me in your hand. Yeah. I thank you for that today, Lord. And I ask you to open the ears of the people that hear this message, Lord, wherever it's at around the world. And Lord, let the people in these foreign lands that hear this, Lord, I ask you to let the Holy Ghost, praise God, uh, take that word, Lord, when it spoke out of my mouth, Lord, It'll be translated in whatever language they're in over there. The Holy yes. Ghost can do that. Ooh, yes. And they're going to know exactly what you're saying to them, uh, the Holy Ghost is saying to them. And he's calling the world to repentance, to get right. Yes. Because, see, we're going downhill and we're, we're, we're heading to a place, praise God, where one, somewhere along the line we're going to get to a place where God's going to say, go get my children, Jesus. Yeah. He's going to call us out of here. Thank God, amen, he's going to call us out of here. Listen to what it says in verse 3. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. There is no other name above God's name and no other name above Jesus. That's right. Not in the heavens, not on earth, not in hell. There's not another name above That's Jesus' right. name, Amen. praise God. Because there is no other name under heaven or anywhere that can be, man can be saved right. except the name of Jesus Christ, praise right. God. He's the only way. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by Amen. me. You'll not have no relationship with the Father without having it with Jesus first. Right. You see? And when we, think about that access of having Jesus in your life and the Holy Ghost in you and having access to heaven. Now that's something right there. Right. That make me want to shout praise <laughs> God a little bit. Listen to what it says right here. In his hands are the depth places of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. Listen, he, listen, he owns it all, praise God. Yeah, God yeah. created everything. He, let, he said they uh, let their land appear, praise God, and he did. It's like it just took his finger and drawed out the sea lines where the ocean would roll up to. They talk about climate change and all that. The, uh, listen to me. Uh, the, earth, the ocean will only come in so far as God allows it to. Yeah. But listen to me what it says right here now. And come and let us worship and bow down and let us kneel before the Lord our God, our maker. The Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he's Lord. Amen. It, and it will happen. It don't matter who it is, what they are, what, what their name is, they will bow down and say that God is God and Jesus is King. Yes, sir. This is what it says in verse 7, For He is our God, we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Today, if you will hear His voice, oh, yeah. listen right here now, He said, Let whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord, and oh, they yeah. shall be saved. Right. Now listen what it says now. I'm going to read that part again. Today, if you will hear His voice, and harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the days of the temptation in the wilderness. He's talking about the children of Israel right here now. When you're, he's talking to the children of Israel in this. When your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my words, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in their heart. Is America not erring? Yes, sir. Is the people of the world not erring? Are they not? Yep. Think about it. You look see what all is going on in the world. It's not a God, all of it ain't. So therefore, the people of the world are erring. They're turning from God's way, see. Why are people doing that? They're blinded. The Bible talks about the God of this world with a little G has blinded their minds. Yeah. See, what we're trying to do, praise God, is get you to see past what the devil's trying to show yeah. you and trying yeah. to get, get you to realize and see that there is a way, praise God, and Amen. it's Jesus. Yes, sir. What yes, were you sir. looking for? Our heart's desire here, what the world needs is Jesus, praise God, is for people to get saved. Yes, sir. And if you backed up on the Lord, that you come back home. Yeah, you Get right, right, see? Come on. See, you don't know. You can't guarantee me since the last broadcast we done, which came out last Saturday, and this one right here when it comes out, praise God, you don't, uh, there's no telling how many people has died and left right. this earth. That's exactly how right. many of them went to be with the Lord and how many of them went to hell? Mm -hmm. Think about that right yeah. there now. And see, our heart's desire is for nobody to go to hell. That's right. It's not the Lord's will for any to perish, praise God, undone without him. It's his heart's desire for you to be born again, praise God, and go be with Jesus and be with him when the time comes. Yeah. I'm telling you, boy, if people could only see where we're at in time and where we're heading and what's going on. Buddy, I'm going to tell you something. People will be getting right. Preaching right. I got some news on, for you. Man. I believe the Lord's fixing to start pouring his spirit out. He's yes. fixing to do a drawing. 
Yeah. He's fixing to listen to me now. He's fixing to start pulling back the rooftops and he's fixing to start exposing uh, people's sins yeah. and all the things that's going on. He's fixing to start exposing the badness of it. He's fixing to start drawing people. I believe this with all of my heart. He's fixing to start drawing and revival is already breaking out in places. Amen. There's revival breaking out. People getting saved over in these foreign countries. People getting saved left and right. They killing yeah. them. But they're getting saved left and right. They're giving their life for Jesus. Now, they're giving their life for Jesus. Uh -huh. Revival's breaking out here in America in places. Yeah. He wants it to break out all over America. But yeah. the thing about it is, as at times, God's in the house and nobody knows it. Right. Think about that. He's showing up in the house and nobody knows it. Yeah. I'm telling you, listen to me. He's saying, listen, come to me. Come to me. Listen to If you end up church, praise God, Word it, uh, uh, you know something ain't right. If you need to, move on somewhere else. Yeah. Because you might, God may be trying to tell you it's time for you to go. I want you to go somewhere else. Come on, because you don't know, see, if you don't know the words, you don't know if what you're hearing is true or not. Right. I want to encourage everybody to read God's word. Yes, if you lost and undone without Jesus Christ, I'm going to say this again. I said it last week or the week before. If you don't even know Jesus, get you an old King James Bible out and sit down and start reading it. And I pray that God will open them scriptures oh, oh, up yeah. to you and he'll reveal yourself through this word right here, praise God. Because his desire is for you to get saved. Yes. And I'll tell you something, I've heard testimonies with my own ears, people in foreign lands over there that believed in other religions, said that they made this statement, Jesus, I've heard about you and I've heard bad things about you. But there's something about it's dealing in my spirit that I know you're good. And if you really are Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I ask you to reveal yourself to me. Yes. And they said he literally revealed himself right before them right there. He will. And he got, they got saved and had to leave their country and leave their families because then they wanted to kill them because they know the truth, see? Right. He'll reveal himself to you if you want to know him. Yes, sir. He said, if you'll call on me, praise God, I'll show you I'm real. Mm -hmm. You got to call on him, see? Get right with the Lord. Yep. Listen right here what it says. For 40 years was I agreed with you, this generation, and said, if it is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, and to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter in to my rest. Think about that now. There's people who are listening. There's people that done got their mind made up. I'm not having nothing to do with Jesus. I don't want to hear about him anymore. I don't want nothing to do with him. Now, that is your free will choice. But when the time comes and you go with that, with that uh, path and you step up before Jesus and your breath leaves your body, because of you neglecting him, he's going to neglect you because he cannot, he will, he cannot go against this word right here. Right. He'll not go outside of the scri uh, scriptures right, right here. Amen. He's got to stick right. with it. So if you deny him and your breath leaves your body and you step up before him, he has no other choice. But to look at you and say, depart from me, I never knew you. That will be the horriblest words that you'll ever hear in your life. Mm -hmm. See, I've had people say things to me down here on the earth that hurt my feelings, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I got over it and everything. But when you hear these words, depart from me, I, you work of iniquity, I never knew you. Right. Yeah. It's over with. You're going to, you were off into hell. But if you're born again, praise God, and you've walked Lord. that path before Jesus, and you step up before him, and your oh, breath leaves yeah. your body, you're going to hear these words. He's going to say, welcome in, my well and faithful servant. Good side, good I'm good. telling you right now, yes, that's what sir. I want to hear. Because I want to hear, welcome in, my well and faithful servant, yes. praise God. I don't want to step up there and just hear him say, well, I want to hear, welcome in, my well done and faithful servant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we want to hear. Yes. That's what he wants to tell you. If you're out there praying to God and you don't know Jesus, he don't want to have to say those horrible words to you to part right. from it. He wants to say to you, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Yes, the only way you're going to hear those words, praise God, is to be born again. Amen. Jesus told Nicodemus, he said, except a man be born again, yes. he'll not enter into the kingdom of heaven, in the kingdom of God. You won't see the kingdom of God except you're born again. Right. It's, listen, God's calling America yes, and the world to repentance. He said, it's time for you to make your mind up, yep. make your choice who you're going to serve. Right. Hey, Joshua prayed God in Joshua 24, I believe it's verse 14. I, I think I'm right on that. He said, choose you this day whom you'll serve and rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Yes, I done made my mind up. We are going to serve the Lord. Now, I'm going to go to Psalms right here, 106. 
I want you to look at something right here. Psalms 106. I'm going to read. But God, listen to me. It didn't make his day to have to open the earth up when the children of Israel were out in the wilderness. He opened the earth up and swallowed some of them up. That didn't make his day. No, it didn't. He played it and he done everything he could. He brought them out of Egypt, brought them through the Red Sea, destroyed the enemy. They saw all of his mighty work, saw what he'd done, and they still w uh, wouldn't uh, get Egypt out of them. But see, listen, it's not his will to, that for anybody to perish. It's not his will. It don't make his day right. but to see the wicked fall and, and die and undone without him. It don't make his day, praise God. Listen to what it says in Psalms 106. I'm going to read verse 21. They forgot God, their Savior, which had got, done great things in Egypt. Uh -huh. He brought them out of Egypt, brought them up to the Red Sea, and they thought, this is it. We're going to die right here. God rolled back to sea, and they walked across on dry land. They got on the other side, praise God, out on the dry land on the other side. They turned around and looked, and God let the waters roll back down on the enemies and destroyed every one of them. Yep. They saw all of that, and God brought them out of, that, uh, out of Egypt under that bondage they'd right. been under. You've been under bondage for a long time. As people are going to listen to this, you've been under bondage for a long time, and God has said, I'm trying to roll back the Red Sea and bring you out of that thing if you'll let me, praise yep. God. But you're going to have to let him do that work in you. You're going to have to let him be the Lord of your life. You're going to have to open that door up. He's standing at the door and he's knocking. Oh yeah. He's standing at your heart's door knocking. He's saying, let me in. Let me in. I want to come in. I want to sup with you and you sup with me. Yes. He's yes. wanting you to be born again, praise God. Listen to what it says in verse 24. Yea, they despise the, ple uh, yea, they despise the pleasant land. They believe not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearken not unto the voice of the Lord. I'm telling you, listen to me. A lot of times we'll, uh, we want to mumble, grumble, and gripe, and complain about things going on in our life, the things not going right, and the Lord is standing there saying, praise God, I got a way out of it. If you'll just listen to me, hold on, keep pressing on. I got a way out of it, but we'll still mumble, grumble, and complain and won't believe what God's Word says. Right. We're going to have to get in. We're going to have to get serious with the Lord, praise God. I've read this book, praise God. I don't only believe it's true. I know what his yes. promises are is true, praise God. And listen, he says his gifts and callings are without repentance, praise God. Listen to me. He loves you. Yes, sir. He wants you to yes, know sir. that he loves you. I don't care what country you're in over there, praise right. God. He loves oh, you. Yeah, that's, that's he didn't right. say whether you're black, white, red, yellow, green, blue, orange, what kind of, yeah. praise God, uh, speech you have, what, what language you speak, right. praise God. You are, listen, you're there, praise God, for a reason. Yes. And the reason you were brought into this world, praise God, was not to go to hell, but to go to heaven, yes. praise God. Right. And that Jesus died for all of Ooh, us, praise God. Yeah. Every person on the face yeah, of this earth, he died, praise God. From the time he went to the cross and come out on that third day, praise God, he rose up out of, praise God, that tomb victorious. From that day till now, Jesus died for every person that was ever born yes, upon the face did. of the earth. And yeah. listen to me. He didn't, he didn't want to see nobody miss heaven. Right. He said, if I be lifted up above heaven and earth, he said, I'll draw all men yes. into me. Yeah. Hey, some people, you felt that drawing in these foreign countries over there. You felt a drawing, and you've been deceived, see, by a man, praise God, trying to tell you that, that Jesus Christ is just a prophet, and he's a false prophet. He ain't no false prophet. He ain't no prophet. He's the king of kings and the yes. Lord of lords, Lord praise God. He is the Alpha and the Omega, praise, praise God, Lord. the beginning and the end. Praise God. He's the one, praise God, that's uh, got the last say in this thing. He's got the right. first say, and he's going to have the last say in right. it. So I'm going to tell you something. Give Jesus a try, praise God. Give him a try, because I'm going to tell you something. You ever give him a try? Yeah. Buddy, I'm going to tell you what. When I was a kid growing up, uh, every once in a while, we'd go to back. When I was a kid coming up, you went out to eat at a restaurant. That was something. But boy, you'd hear today now say, now, boys, tomorrow evening, we're going to go out and we're going to eat. Now, back then, you'd go somewhere and get a burger and fries. Son, I was excited about that. Yeah, yeah. And I'd go, and every time I'd eat it, it was always good. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, Jesus is always good. Yes, sir. Yes, You'll sir. never find a time where he'll be bitter yes, to you, praise God. Yes, Unless right. you're doing something wrong and he brings conviction to you. And all he's doing that for is saying, I love you, look. You're going in the wrong direction. That's right. And he'll, he'll try to, and the Holy That's Ghost right. will deal with you to get you to turn around, yes, see. Sir. Yes, sir. I, when I was a kid growing up, my, I, my grandma and them lived beside us, and she'd say, boy, don't go out there and get around that. There's a hole out in the backyard back then. People burn their garbage. She'd say, don't go out there and get around that hole. You're going to fall off in it. 
It wasn't maybe a little while. Here I'd come walking in the house with mud all over me and everything. Guess what happened? I didn't listen and I fell off in that mud hole. And then guess what happened? She'd break that hickory out. And I got where I'd stay away from that hole. See, that's how the Lord loves us. He's saying, look, don't keep going in the wrong direction. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. See, that's the problem is we don't want to listen to what man says more than what we want to hear what thus says the Word of God. Right. We need to get in the Word and read it for ourselves. You don't know Jesus, read the Word. Yes, you don't sir. know Him, get in there and go to reading. Start reading in Matthew and just read through there. Read about what Jesus done, praise God, right. what He went through for you. I tell you, that right there will make you go to thinking you go to getting into Matthew and all of them go to reading in there about what yes, Jesus done. Yes. He loves you, praise God, and He wants you to know that He loves you. Right. Listen. If you want to uh, get on the winning side, get on Jesus' side. Right. Let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 3. I want to read you a few scriptures right here. Now, these scriptures sounds a little bit uh, uh, rough, but uh, if you'll listen to them, uh, what, the, what he's trying to say, God always tries to warn uh, people. He warned Israel. He would send, praise God, the prophets in to tell them to turn around and quit not go in the wrong direction. And, all, and when things had happened, judgment had come, it's because they wouldn't turn around. See? God had sent judgment, and they'd, a lot of times they'd turn around and come back to him, see? Listen to what it says in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 6. But Christ had his son over his own house. Listen now. Whose house are we if we hold fast to confidence and rejoice of the hope firm unto the end? Yeah, come on. Let's now think it. about that right there now. Listen to what it says. Wherefore now, I just read this over in the Old Testament. Wherefore as is... The Holy Ghost saith, uh, God, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation, said they do always err in their heart. Think about that now. Listen right here. And they, and they have not known my ways. There's people in this country right here, you've heard about Jesus all your life, but see, you're erring in your way yeah. because you're not turning to Jesus. And let Him be the Lord of your life. See, you're hardening your heart towards the very one that can save your soul from hell. Oh, yeah. You're hardening your heart and turning your, uh, a deaf ear to Him because what you're hearing people say. Now, I'm going to say this right here, but I want the Holy Ghost to bring this out in a way that you'll get an understanding of it. You always hear people say, Jesus loves you. And he does love you. Yes. But I'm going to tell you something. Just hearing somebody tell you that Jesus loves you is not going to save you. When you hear somebody say Jesus loves you, they're trying to tell you, look, Jesus is the way. In order for Jesus' love to do it, for Jesus' love to done me any good, I heard people tell me Jesus loved me for years. Mm -hmm. But one day, I, went, I was at church and something started happening to me. Something started dealing with me. And I was squeezing on the pew and everything. Oh, Praise God. And, and all at once I felt something drawing me. I just felt that urge that I yes. needed to get up and yes. do something. I got up and went up there to the altar, praised God, and got on my knees. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. All them words that I heard about Jesus loved me, all of that came true to me that day because then I didn't hear it. I received it. Yeah. Right. I received his love, yeah. praise God, and got born again, say, and that's what the Lord is trying to say to us, to you. Yeah. Is when you need to be born again and experience His love for yourself. See? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen to what it says right here now, verse 11. I swore in my wrath they should not enter in my rest. Take heed, brethren. Listen now. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you harden, be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence yes. steadfast until the end. Amen. Yeah. See, I know the Bible says those that endure the end, the same shall be saved. Oh, Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. I've kept the faith. I've run the race. Now I'm ready to be offered up. Yeah. See, I'm going to run this race, praise God. I'm going to keep the faith. I'm yeah. going to run my race. Amen. And one day, whether it's by the calling up of the church or me leaving here by the grave, I'll be ready to be offered up. Yes, sir. I want to strive every day to do the best I can for the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. to be pleasing unto Him, and to be that light shining. Because, see, us as preachers and Christians, 
We're representative of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And see, we may be the only person, a Bible, that they see for a while. It's us, how we live our life. It's very important that we walk our life upright with Christ every day. Yeah. He didn't say take up your cross when you feel like it. He said take up your cross daily and follow me. Oh, yes, that's See, right. it's a daily walk. It's not a feel-good walk or when I feel like it, I'll walk with him. If I want to today, I will. If I don't tomorrow, I won't. No, it's an everyday thing. That's right. And I choose to serve Jesus every day. Yes, sir. He's the Lord of my life and he's the Lord of my house. And he's the king of my house. Yes. He's the pilot of my automobile. Praise yeah, God. I'm, a, I'm the co-pilot in everything. <laughs> he is my pilot in everything I do. Yes, he's right. it. And I want you to know he loves you, praise God. It's not his will for you to perish. Right. He loves you. Think about that, what we're saying to you, praise God. We're trying to let you know that Jesus is the way. He loves you. Yeah. And it's not his will for you to perish. I'm going to go to Hebrews chapter 12. And I'm going to read a few more verses right here. And I want you to listen to this right here. Verse 14. Father peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Look diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring up and trouble you, thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. See, listen to what it says, what he done. Mm -hmm. Who for a, mor a morsel of meat sold his birthright. Yeah. For ye know how that afterwards, when they, he would have inherited a blessing, he was rejected. He, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully. Yep. Now, I'm going to say this, and it, I, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. There is a place you can go, and you reject Jesus, and you keep on rejecting him, and keep on rejecting him, and keep on rejecting him. And you keep saying the right words. Just, I, I don't have nothing to do with him. I don't care about him. I don't believe he's real. I reject him. I reject him, and I reject him. Yeah. There will come a place in your life, if you're not careful, that God will turn you over to a reprobate mind yep. and you'll believe that lie and the Bible says you'll be damned. Right. And you know what will happen? The rich man when he went off in hell, he seeked repentance but he couldn't find no place yeah, for it. On, he was worried then about his uh, brothers at his house. Yeah. See, I'm worried about people out there right now that may say, I don't know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've heard about him and I've wondered about him but I don't know if he's real or not. I come today to tell you he is real. Yes, sir. And you need to give him a try. I feel the Holy That's Ghost. Good. Yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost on this, praise God. He is real. Yeah. I'm telling you, listen, he gave his life for you at Calvary that you could be born again. I want to urge you. I want to urge you, praise urge you, yeah. urge you yeah. to think about where you want to spend eternity at because, That's see, tough. when your choice is made and your breath leaves your body when you, who you choose to serve, mm -hmm. when you go down in, your, uh, in that casket, Whatever choice you made, whom you going to serve is where you going to be at. Yes, yeah. Think about that. Heaven is real. I'm telling you it's real. Yes, it is. It's as real as you look seeing me on this camera lifting my hand right here. Heaven uh -huh. is real. But also hell is real too. Yes, it is. And it's not his will for you to go there. Please, yes, please think about your eternity, where you yes, want to spend it at. Yes. Jesus died for you and he loves you and we love you. Yes. That's why we come out here and do these broadcasts. Right. We spend our time doing this right here. We want to be pleasing to the Lord. Yep. He called us to go preach the gospel, and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're trying to preach it all over the world to everybody to listen. Mm -hmm. Think about that today. Jesus loves you, and God bless you. And I want to say right here, uh, for a uh, private message, facebook.com uh, forward slash what the world needs is Jesus, or you can call or text Brother uh, Rick Phillips at 256 or you can text or call Larry Miles at 256-603-0641. And you can email at what the world needs is Jesus at TV at TVGmail.com. Yeah. Until next time, God bless every one of you. Yeah.